Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a late, out of date, raw review. The show started off with Becky Lynch, folks, the man there. Cutting the promo, Dewdrop comes out. Becky said that she helped her win or whatever the match for the number one contendership. Dewdrop said that was a mistake or whatever. Liv Morgan, Bianca Belair come out. They declare that they're in the Royal Rumble match. And then it's a tag team match. Becky and Dewdrop defeated Bianca and Liv Morgan, so Becky hits this rock bottom finisher or whatever. She goes for the cover, and then Dewdrop with an elbow smash on Becky Lynch, and she hits a big splash on Liv Morgan, one, two, three. And then she does the big Yokozuna finish on Becky Lynch or whatever there. Um, and I enjoyed this, folks. Dewdrop making her look dominant or whatever. Making her look like a threat for the Women's Championship. And we'll see what's going to happen. I'm guessing Becky cheats and retains the belt or whatever, but I'm interested in this match there. Um, we had a promo, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, their big buddies there. Um, Seth says he's going to face Bobby in the main event. Kevin Owens also declares that he's in the Rumble match or whatever. Um, and then um, Damien Priest comes out. He says nobody believes that Seth is able to defeat Roman Reigns. Um, and then he says he has a match against Kevin Owens. They have a match, an okay match or whatever. Then Owen said he was in pain. He was in the ropes. You know, he needed a trainer. <laughs> Damien Priest, you know, with his stupid, angry gimmick there. Is this for real? Is this serious? <laughs> and Owens, the trainer, comes out or whatever. And then it was all fake. There, Owens kicks Damien Priest, hits him with the surprise stunner, one, two, three, or whatever. I thought this was well done there. Owens uh, screwing him out of a victory, or whatever. Alpha Academy were cutting a promo. They were dressed up like the genius or whatever, like graduation outfits there, um, you know, bragging about winning the tag team belts, bro comes out or whatever with the distraction, he's distracting Otis, Orton appears from behind the RKO on Chad Gable, so... Possibly they regain the belts right away at the Rumble. Um, maybe they fail and then they turn on each other. Or Tin and Riddle. We'll see what's going to happen there. Um, but this segment was okay, I guess. And you had Mr. McMahon with Austin Theory backstage. Vince says he has a match against Finn Balor and he has to win. If not, Vince was going to have him dragged to his office. He was going to beat him up um, with an object, mess up his face and send that to his mother or whatever. That's what McMahon said to Austin Theory. 
And then they had the match, and Austin Theory defeated Finn Balor. I enjoyed this. Theory has this new finisher. It's like the TKO mixed into like a go to sleep kind of deal up here, and he's on the knee, the face on the knee, but it's like different kind of deal. New finisher, their new superstar, folks. Austin Theory, the protege of McMahon, folks. Um, apparently some fans were upset that Balor lost or whatever, but I'm going to talk about this in another video later tonight, dear. Marie's, ladies and gentlemen, um was out there cutting a promo, and Marie's, she's just good, folks. She's good. She does a good job with The Miz. She has a presence, you know. She knows what she's doing, Marie's there. She challenges Bet Phoenix to come out alone or whatever. She said The Miz wasn't there. Bet comes out with Edge, the Miz arrives, you know, first Marie said she wants to, you know, not have the match, cancel the match, Bet says no, the match is on, I'm gonna give you a glam slam or whatever, she goes in the ring, Miz arrives, attacks Edge from behind, Bet is distracted, and Marie's hits her with her purse in the back of the head. And they revealed that they had a brick in the purse, folks. The old brick in the purse there. <laughs> Marie's boom with the, the, the purse, the, the fake brick or whatever in the head there. But I thought this was well done. Good skit there. I'm happy to see Miz get a one-up on Edge this week there. Just having Bet Phoenix coming out there and insulting the Miz and Marie's each week. Uh, you know, a little boring there. It's good to see Miz, you know, not look so fucking weak in this feud or whatever. I hope. Miz wins him and Marie's, you know what I mean? They do a good job together there. But hopefully we see more of Marie's on television. There was a big video package for Lesnar and Bobby Lashley showing their careers there and their amateur wrestling, stuff like this. And I thought this was a great video package straight up there. I don't normally care for video packages there, but this was very well done. And I'm feeling hyped for the match at the Rumble. Boy. I'm feeling hyped. And then it was the main event, Bobby Lashley versus Seth Rollins. You know, it felt big time, the match, a decent match. It ends in DQ or whatever. Obviously, fans are going to complain, AEW fans, about a DQ or whatever. But obviously, both of these men have a big match. Nobody can lose there. And the DQ works. It makes sense. It builds up the matches. Storytelling for a DQ because Shelton and Cedric Alexander attacked Bobby Lashley, but he broke out of it or whatever and beat them up. The Usos appear and they kick Seth Rollins in the face. A message from Roman Reigns or whatever. And I thought this was well done, so... Good storytelling, boy, I mean. And then you had other stuff, folks. Nikki attacked Rhea Ripley there again. So they were supposed to have a match. Carmella and Zelina come out 
They cut a boring promo. This distracts Rhea Ripley. And Nikki attacked her again. Not as good as the first week, so. Little cheap or whatever. And speaking of cheap, there, Omos defeated Reggie. Um, why they even booked this, I have no fucking clue there. Um, the match begins and the whole 24-7 brigade came running true. And Omos beat up a few of them, and then there was a stare down between Tamina Snuka and Omos. Tamina Snuka, the VIP at a 24 7 there, maybe she was in front of <laughs> Omos face to face, and Omos gave her a look there. And then Tamina just left. Reggie jumps in the air, Omos catches him, just gives him a choke slam there. Hopefully Omos isn't, you know, stuck with the 24-7 stuff every week. But to me, Nusnuka is making me laugh with whatever the fuck it is that she's doing there. Um, so maybe I enjoyed it more than I should have, folks. Rey Mysterio and Dominic de and the Street Profits defeated Ziggler, Rude, Apollo Crews, and Commander Aziz in a big eight-man tag match. There. Um, after the match, Rey and Dominic threw their partners, the Street Profits, over the top rope there to show that in the Rumble, it's every man for himself. Ray tosses them over, and he's like this, and the Street Profits, oh yeah, Royal Rumble or whatever, and then Ray eliminates Dominic, well, not eliminates, but tosses Dominic over the ropes, you know, to teach a lesson to his son about the rumble, and I thought that was well done too there, Ray, you know what I mean? Tossing his son to teach him a lesson, you know what I mean? It makes sense! And it was a nice moment, folks. And then you had Alexa Bliss or whatever there, a small segment with the doctor guy again, and it was her talking about Lily there, so not as good as last week there, but uh, nothing terrible. It's fun seeing Alexa Bliss on the show again or whatever. I'm happy she's not hurt or something like this, but the segment wasn't that great there, folks. Uh, Possibly next week it's going to be better there. Um, so yeah, overall I thought it was a good show or whatever. A decent show. A good enough show, folks. You had some good shit there. Rollins is a good main event against Bobby. Um, Owens against Priest was okay. The stuff with Becky was good. Alpha Academy, RKO, Austin Theory defeating Finn Balor, the Marie's skit was good. Fuck, most of the stuff was good on the show, so. That means it sucks! You gotta appeal to the AEW crowd on here, but um, I thought overall it was a good enough show there. That's my opinion. If you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Please subscribe to the new Wrestling Jesus channel and check out my Facebook group, the Wrestling Jesus group, baby. Uh, more videos coming tonight, folks. We're just getting started up in here. Then. Until next time, peace. <laughs>